Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It is 6.42. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. And we have a crew with us this morning. We have Tracy and Cindy and Patrick all with us with a couple of cute furry friends. And thank you all for getting up so early. Yes, you're welcome. Oh, I'm joining us. I am right now. <laughs> Tell us about who you have here today. Okay. Today we have Teddy and Abby. They're a bonded pair. They're senior dogs. They're 9 and 10. Oh, yeah. um, they need to be adopted together. They're all mm -hmm. up to date on the shots. They are neutered and spayed. They are <coughs> on our website and available for adoption. Very good. They're wonderful little senior dogs that are really no work at all. So, <laughs> no. You know, a lot of folks like that. And so the, the pair, adopting them as a pair, about how old you, would you say they are? Nine and ten. Between oh, nine, nine you and said ten. that. Okay, yeah. nine and ten years old. Yes, older. and they are um, going to be a two-for-one adoption. So you only have to pay one adoption fee and you get two little puppies. Hey, yeah. so two sweet faces. Two yeah, yeah. yeah, they're very sweet. Yeah, yeah. They're anything, very sweet. So would, would they get oh, along yeah. with other dogs or yes, kids? Right. They get along very well with my dog and cats. They yes. like cats, too. Good. They're just very calm, very mellow, um, very bonded with their person. Um, Ted here is partially blind, but the more familiar he gets with my home, he, he gets around great. He can do stairs, um, carpeted particularly, but he, he does so well. And Abby's kind of his little leader. and. Um, yeah, they're I just. Love it. I have a feeling you might be getting more than one call on this pair. Well, I mean, really? I hope so. They're yeah. <laughs> they're very good companion animals. I mean, they would be excellent. They everywhere I go, they just want to be near you. Oh. They're yeah, they're and very the, sweet. And with each other. <laughs> yes, yes, that too. Very good. Yeah. And do you guys have some events coming up? Because we have plenty of other dogs and cats that need homes as well. Absolutely. I brought a cheat sheet yeah, just in case. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, on Sunday, July 9th from 4 to 7 p.m., we have a meet and greet at Jack's Steakhouse on the yes. patio. It's a lot of fun. And I'm hoping these two will be go. there. <laughs> yes. 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 So if you want to meet them, Please come to Jack Steakhouse on July 9th. And that's perfect weather to get outside. The, I think all the animals will love it and a yep. perfect opportunity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, July 11th and 12th, from yes. 11 to 2, both days, we'll be at the Burley County 4 H Achievement Center. Mm -hmm for the achievement days there. So a couple different events coming up and how have things been? Like what are, the, what are Furry Friends Rock and Rescue biggest needs right now? Oh my gosh, we're funding. We yeah. need funding. We are on an intake hold due to the amount of money we spend on vet care. We're just running out with the needs of all the animals. We are getting so many requests for surrenders. There's so many ab abandoned dogs and stray dogs that we need to take in that are in such horrible shape that mm -hmm. the vet bills are just running us okay. down. So, so donations. Funny. Donations, fosters, okay. so we can take more in. Um, all right. Well, it's just a horrible time for yeah. rescues yeah, right now. Definitely. Well, thank you all for coming here with us this morning and bringing in these two yep. sweet faces.